After Jiang Meijun's death, the classics came to a different continent. What becomes a hero? How could a traveler be so aimless? Just as Meijun was preparing to conquer the mountains, accumulate troops and grain, wait for the opportunity, and rise up. She suddenly realized that there is magic in this world, with this kind of setting. So she decided to take a step forward, improve her strength, and then proceed to dominate the mountains. However, at the moment she saw her profession, she was stunned. What? To become a warrior, the first step is to reduce intelligence. The lower the intelligence, the higher the damage. Does a pastor need to endure three times the pain of treating others and three times the pain of treating oneself? What are you doing? Ouch. Quote dot. Chapter 1. Reopening Power. Joy. You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Boom. The two trucks collided with each other, and the rainstorm hit the glass with a dull sound. Blood slowly flowed down from the car door, mixed with rain and mud, turning into an indescribable dirty liquid. Why did this kind of collision accident happen on the highway on the mountaintop? Perhaps the resignation form in one of the cars, the superimposed critical illness notice, the yellowed family photo, and the nearby wine can all illustrate this. With the occurrence of the car accident, it was difficult to control the cargo on both large trucks, and the tires and wood were released one after another, releasing the shackles that the trucks had imposed on them. Various things rolled down from the mountaintop one after another. At this moment, Jiang Meijun was traveling here, opening her phone in the hotel and having a lot of fun. Perhaps it's a habit. Even though Jiang Meijun stayed up late at night, she didn't fall asleep and chose to continue staying up late. At two o'clock in the morning, Majin finally prepared to go to bed. Before going to bed, she was ready to pull the curtains. In a daze, she seemed to see a black object flying over in the distance. Is there still a black star in the world? It's still moving. Is it a meteor? Majin felt puzzled. But as the black object grew larger and closer, she finally realized something was wrong. Without much words, Majin quickly ran out of the room. However, as soon as she took a step, Majin realized that she had ignored the friction between her shoes and the ground. Under her strong desire to survive, his starting speed was quite fast. And because he was too fast, he performed a flat throw on the spot for everyone. My life is at rest. Even if Majin didn't look back, she knew she was going to be ruined. Accompanied by the sound of broken glass, a huge tire rushed into the room, fortunately not directly pressing on Majin's body. But not very lucky, it was Majin who lost a leg on the spot. And being cut by a large amount of glass fragments, if there is no accident, there may be a lot of bleeding and accidents. In the final moments of her life, Majin chose to format her phone first. A line of clear tears flowed from the corner of her eye, thinking of me as a lifelong hero, a genius-like figure, only died under this small tire. Quote, at this moment, the owner of the hotel finally realized something was wrong. Why was the sound so loud upstairs? Go upstairs and use the spare key to open the door. Although it's unclear why he has a spare key for the room and whether he has ever opened the door before. But it's okay, he finally saw Majin. Without any hesitation, the less serious hotel owner chose to take it seriously and brought a medicine box to try to stop the bleeding for Majin. Why not call an ambulance? The answer is that the U.S. military, in order to enjoy the tranquility of the countryside, went to this tourist attraction in the wilderness. It can be said that if they don't die, they won't die. It can only be said that this hemostasis is not necessary.
Majin let out a wail throughout the process and said that you might as well let me just be so happy. Finally, the innkeeper put away the medicine box and looked at the broken clothes and vaguely exposed bodies of the U.S. military. He asked, can I take advantage of the heat after you die? Quote, Majin was unable to roast, and hash 34. Even if you are hot now, I can't resist you. What's more, I have so much blood on my body. Do you have to fight with your brother? Quote, with the massive loss of blood, Meijun's consciousness began to gradually blur. At this moment, the hotel owner still remembered his original intention after he struggled to remove the tire pressing on Meijun's leg. A simple inspection was conducted, and surprisingly, there were no legs left, only a pile of minced meat. I don't know what kind of meat it is. But this still did not stop the hotel owner. Before Majin fell into a coma, he successfully separated her other leg from the minced meat and turned her legs into a cross-legged position. At this moment, Majin, who was on the brink of death, said her last words, You're still a beast. Majin's death. But in his dying illness, he sat up startled, and the dark wind blew rain into the cold window. Majin felt the cold ice fish slapping her face haphazardly. At first, she didn't feel anything, but then it was very cold. Majin stood up on the spot and found herself lying on a muddy road in the countryside. This time it's really reopened. Majin chose to take a step forward and confirm her information. After careful confirmation, the U.S. military found that their gender had not changed and their appearance had not changed much. Even if there was a change, they became more attractive. Take a look, the current age is very reasonable, around 15 years old. Why is the estimation so accurate? Perhaps it's because my 15-year-old self was about the same height as this body during my lifetime. Upon careful observation, it can be observed that the clothes on Meijun's body are very luxurious and obviously not suitable for small households. And the houses in the distance don't even have concrete, so there must be no advanced technology in this world. After all, the big town, which is almost invisible to the naked eye, actually has no concrete houses. Miss, why are you lying in the mud pit? Miss. The master has long said that you should quit this bad habit of stepping in the mud pit. A butler-like person arrived here and quickly led Majin to a mansion, which was real. The mansion formed a sharp contrast with the outside world. The configuration is too high. At the beginning, there was identity, background, and parents didn't die. Majin thought to herself. Being taken to her own room, Majin initially wanted to try meeting her parents, but the answer was that the two of them went on a trip and left Majin behind. Lying in bed, all of this seems like a dream to Majin, very unreal. At this moment, Majin suddenly began to worry. That old hotel owner wouldn't really take advantage of my body while it was hot, would he? That old guy seems to have really taken care of it. Forget it. Buddy, if there's a new one, let's send him the old one to play with. Majin falls asleep with her head down. One 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 one. At this time, the hotel owner was very uncomfortable during the difficult operation to prevent any discomfort. The boss chose to take the lead and help Majin handle the body. While dealing with him, I thought to myself, why is she only traveling alone when she is 15 years old? And how did she live in? Opening the resident information, the boss found that Meijun's parents had been here before and had sold some coins. Then the two of them left together. Suddenly realizing that the boss with a background in the U.S. military was lost in thought, he went to the wardrobe and found a women's outfit to try on for Meijun. It can only be said that the boss never forgets his original intention. 
After careful treatment by the boss, most of the wounds on the U.S. military's body were sewn up by special means, and the broken leg was directly removed. Just as the hotel owner was about to start, a distant explosion in the mountains alarmed him, followed by a reasonable tire combo. Boss's death. Chapter 2. This is not right, is it? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Majin, who woke up in the morning, received bad news that her parents from another world had both died in battle. Although I have only traveled for less than a day and my parents are not very familiar with them, I still feel some sadness to some extent. When I first heard this news, the U.S. military was extremely shocked. Ah, a parent experience card. This experience card hasn't even arrived for a day, and it's over yet. Quote, however, the parents who had only appeared for a short time did not leave anything behind. That's right. With the inheritance left by his parents and their compensation, Majin successfully became a wealthy man. The butler looked at Majin with a hint of sadness on his face, so he comforted her and said, don't be sad. Our message is passing slowly. Maybe your parents have passed the first seven, but unfortunately you missed a big banquet. Majin. Quote. But Majin is very optimistic. Since she has traveled to a different world, there must be some action from a traveler. Is King Lao Deng dead or not? Asked Majin kindly. No. The butler replied. Now. Majin has confirmed that there is a kingdom here. Since that's the case, there's no need to ask if there are any demon kings or anything like that. It's time to conquer the mountains and become the king, accumulate troops and grain, wait for the opportunity, and rise up. Looking at the long string of zeros behind the family property, Majin held a glass of juice in her hand. Looking out the window, he said mysteriously, this is truly the autumn of danger and survival. Quote, the butler asked in confusion, the king didn't do anything to you, did he? Why is Miss so? Quote, if our family is so wealthy and has neither soldiers nor power, then we are a sheep that can be slaughtered by others. Besides, it would be better for kings, nobles, generals, and prime ministers to have seeds. Why is this emperor sitting so tightly that I can't sit there? Quote, perhaps the king has many great mages under his command, or is it because the king is the strongest human race today? Puff. Majin spat out a mouthful of juice, and there was magic in this broken place, that kind of thing. It seems that we need to take a step forward and improve our personal combat power. Butler, is there any way to quickly improve your strength? Majin asked tentatively. Yes, the young lady is also quite young. You can choose to go to the job transfer hall in Wangcheng to transfer. Quote, okay, set off immediately. After a very, very, very bumpy journey, Majin finally arrived at the royal city, although for some reason she didn't even have a teleportation magic array. Butler, is it true that no one knows even a little teleportation magic? Yes, but miss, you didn't say you wanted to use it. Majin broke through the defense. Arriving at the transfer hall, I looked at the love and various colored patterns on the side of the transfer hall. And inside, there are various rotating colorful lights, strange music, and dancing figures. Majin fell into contemplation. Is this a serious place? Quote. After a long silence, the U.S. military raised doubts. It must be, said the butler in black seriously. Crossing the dancing figures, passing through the basement filled with whips, finally arrived at the transfer area of the transfer hall. Let me see if there's anything good for health. The U.S. military began to investigate his profession. Warrior. Prerequisite. Low intelligence. After awakening, 
attributes, decreased intelligence and significantly improved physical fitness. Warfare. During battles, passively reduce intelligence and increase combat effectiveness. Sagittarius. Preconditions. After awakening attribute, the melee damage is greatly reduced, while the ranged damage is greatly increased. For each arrow fired, one hair is consumed. Shooting. Permanently depletes one's own vitality and increases attack power. Majin fell into contemplation. These professions seemed quite strong, and she was more willing to be an ordinary person than to become one of them. Majin looked at everything and finally discovered a magical profession. Brave. Precondition. Both parents die. Attribute. Significant improvement in overall quality, loss of fertility, and significant reduction in lifespan. Love and justice. Eliminating one's own memories and greatly increasing one's own harm. How strong is this profession? Let me put it this way. Those who have just changed jobs can hang and beat the king. How short is the lifespan? Let's put it this way. Mei Jun's current lifespan is five times that of her job transfer. Damn it. Isn't there any normal profession? Miss. You can choose to try random professions. In that case, all the professions that come out will be brand new. Although unknown, they won't be the same as before. The butler suggested, looking at the endless pit father profession, Majin chose to become a gambling dog. Majin went to the job transfer hall and purchased a random profession stone. In order to fulfill the wish of 3,000 male models in the harem, Majin used this stone. A sentence rang in Meijun's mind, successfully transferred to another job. Quote. A panel appeared in front of her. Undead mage. Precondition. Comprehensive low moral quality. Over completion. Attribute. Negative. A significant decrease in physical fitness. This time it. S really delicate and easy to push down will generate a lot of favoritism towards the resurrected creature, gaining XP necrophilia, and when in contact with the resurrected creature, it will generate a lot of desire. Open black lens bracket front close black lens bracket. The attack power of undead spells has been greatly increased, making them immune to undead attacks. Resurrected creatures will possess eternal characteristics and will not change their appearance. Resurrected creatures will be locked in a state, refreshed in the early morning every day, and will be 100% loyal. Resurrection of the undead. Resurrects one undead, with a maximum of one. But the key is here and there are no negative effects. After observing again and again, Majin believes that this profession is actually decent. I just don't know why there is a sense of familiarity when looking at the crematorium, but at the funeral home, there is a deeper sense of familiarity. Damn it. It must be this strange profession that has changed me. Reminder. The progress of job transfer is only 60%, and the negative effects have not been released yet. Majin. Quote. After a while, the complete job transfer was successful, and the U.S. military heard a warning sound in their minds. Obtaining XP Corpse Fetish, ding, detected as already owned, converted to XP Foot Control, ding, detected as already owned, converted to XP Pedophilia, ding. Failed to obtain. Compensation. 1 sentence 6 inches. It's not that you slandered me. How could I be such a person? Damn it. And my morals and qualities are so noble. Why did I successfully transfer without any obstacles? A cunning profession that insults my character. Majin muttered discontentedly. After a successful job transfer, Majin did not stay too long. Although she could only resurrect one undead at the beginning, Majin felt that her future was promising. Before that, 
I must go to the undead of the royal family to open a box. So the night was dark and the wind was high, and when killing and setting fire. Majin arrived at the tomb of the legendary general, which was said to have extremely strong evil energy. Prepare to summon a wave of legendary undead at the beginning. After all, there is no mention of any level limit for undead. Not saying it means not. Because it was a bit dark, Majin lit a torch to illuminate. Then, Majin was arrested by forest rangers and tomb guards on charges of setting fire to the mountains. Chapter 3. Giant Enterprises? No, Monopoly Organizations. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. After being arrested in prison, Majin still couldn't repent and wanted to try to obtain a powerful undead. However, Originally her physical fitness was not very strong, and after experiencing a significant decline in physical fitness, Majin did not even have the strength to deal with a big goose. Faced with this catastrophe, Majin pondered in the cold prison. Even if I were to be resurrected, what would happen to those things in the tomb? Their strength has long been worn down with time completely wasting the ability of my undead to refresh their state. With this thought in mind, my mind suddenly expanded, and I went straight to meet someone. Not only is the body well preserved and less cautious, but the preservation of strength is also very perfect. I am truly a genius. Majin suddenly became enlightened. However, a huge question immediately came to her mind. With the strength of my five scumbags in this battle, how should I take them down? I can take them all. Why do I still need a contract? His strength is so weak. I can, T do it. And I can, T make a contract either. If we use money to hire people to assassinate, wouldn't T he be able to get more money by directly killing me instead of assassinating powerful people? And it's also easier. Thinking carefully and fearfully, Majin began to ponder. But soon, Majin stopped thinking. Because it was too cold in the prison at night, and Majin's physical fitness was very low, she was pinched on the spot and fell into a baby like sleep, unable to extricate herself. When she woke up again, Majin found herself redeemed by the butler and staying in her bedroom. Miss, you finally woke up. I thought I would never see my salary again. Oh, no, it's you, miss. Quote, the butler was crying beside him. Majin thought to herself that she couldn't come up with any solution to her contracted undead in the short term. It's better to enjoy and squander a lot of your assets. Do we have any assets in our family? Majin asked her butler. There used to be, but now it's gone, said the butler with a hint of bitterness on his face. What's going on? Majin asked. Your parents both started their careers by selling materials for some magical items, and they only bought those assets for fun, but later they also gained some scale. They just bought it from Mr. L, who is not a good person. After three days and three nights of contract inspection at your parents' house, they still missed a clause. After their death, if their children do not choose to inherit the enterprise in the first place, it will belong to Mr. L's giant enterprise. But the more likely outcome is that going is useless, without choosing to deprive you of your inheritance and extract the value of your remaining labor, it is already the kindness of this gentleman. So arrogant, forget it. Let's go to a male model club for consumption first. Although she lost a lot of things, Majin did not feel any negative emotions because she had never had it before. Sitting in the men's model club, Majin experienced the joy of embracing each other. She even invited two male models at a high price to come to the bar with her to have fun. As she ate the fruit handed to her mouth and hugged the two people next to her with both hands, Mei Jun's smile began to be uncontrollable. 
Alas, after taking a few sips, Mei Jun's face turned slightly red and her exhalation began to become more intense. In the hot and joyful atmosphere, Mei Jun gradually began to let go and play. As she was drinking heavily, Mei Jun suddenly remembered that the steward's words had inevitably begun to generate some resentment towards Mr. L in her heart. The royal city is not peaceful now. It has been taken over by someone surnamed L, causing unrest among chickens and dogs. It's a true, dog capitalist. Dog capitalist. A voice inexplicably rang out. Majin didn't care and said, Yes, isn't this giant enterprise dog capital? The person in charge of this giant enterprise, L, is even more of a dog capitalist, a beast among the animals. The animals in the animals. The voice suddenly laughed. Do you have a strong grudge against him? The voice asked. Yes. My parents left me a lot of fixed assets because of that bastard L, who is not as good as a pig or a dog. If it's gone, everything will be gone, and there will be no business left. All I have left around me are these dull and boring amounts of money. That's really a pity. It seems that this lady has a lot of resentment towards me. A slightly joking voice sounded. Ah. Majin suddenly gave a wake-up call. She realized that at some point, the two male models next to her were both in the corner, looking at her with frightened eyes, as well as the man in black in the distance. I'm in a private bar room. How could you be here? The cunning dog capitalist is still peeping into someone else's privacy, right? Majin glared angrily. This lady seems to have misunderstood. This bar is already owned by a giant enterprise. How can we tolerate customers' damage to the glorious image of our company? You are really lawless. Delta, Majin was extremely angry. Firstly, it was you who first attacked my reputation. After all, I am a famous philanthropist, but you deliberately slandered my image. According to the laws of the royal city, I have the right to protect my own rights and interests. Besides, Miss, do you know? Giant enterprises also have a nickname, called monopolistic organizations. Majin realized that she had been accused by the other party of standing at the moral high point. But this was not what surprised her the most. What surprised her the most was that this feudal dynasty actually had imperialism. Big brother, if you have something to discuss, can I lose money? Faced with Mr. L, who appeared to have a deep background. Majin is not in the mood anymore. Miss, do you think I would care about this money? The answer is of course, but I care more than just this money. Your family has neither power nor any powerful military personnel. These money are in your hands. I'm afraid it's already difficult to protect yourself. Miss, you don't want your parents to make heroic sacrifices and become traitors. Of course, I have studied your background, and to be precise, I know everything about everyone here. You don't seem to have any deep emotions towards your parents, and even your appearance is full of doubts, but I think you don't want to spend the rest of your life in prison. I am a compassionate philanthropist, and I give you an opportunity to serve a giant enterprise. Mr. L showed a sly smile. Orcs will never be slaves. Majin chose a wave of desperate resistance, accompanied by alcohol and dancing flames, and successfully lit this room. But in just an instant, Mr. L picked her up in one hand and a small magic circle appeared in the other. Majin thought it was water magic, but the suffocation that followed made her realize that this person was even more terrifying than she had imagined. Using non-combustible gases to extinguish fires is not something that any backward feudal dynasty would know. Even combining these with magic formations is unheard of. She also observed that at this moment, the so-called Mr. 
L was not a real person at all, but a doll made of unknown materials. Now, do you agree to serve the giant enterprise? Don't worry. Giant enterprises have never had slaves, only employees who can never repay their debts for a lifetime. Quote. Chapter 4. Becoming the boss on the second day of employment. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Thank you for your cooperation. As your onboarding reward, we will not hold you accountable for your previous behavior. Faced with a powerful threat of force, Majin still compromised. Due to her unique profession and her proactive dedication to the company, she has donated all her assets. Her work is very easy, with almost no fixed working hours. It seems like there's no difference between not joining the company and not having any money. But in fact, Majin is very clear that this employment treaty is a pure slave treaty. Because she discovered that Mr. L is highly likely not from here. After all, how could a simple outsider think that if they fail the performance evaluation after joining the company, they will receive a negative salary and their debts will accumulate more and more. Because giant enterprises almost monopolize the economy of the entire royal city, no matter what they do, they need to use the currency issued by the giant enterprises. Who control all the magic props here? Even if the company doesn't intentionally make things difficult for you, as long as you live here in Wangcheng, you are destined to owe the company money. The debt will accumulate more and more, but there will be a limit, a limit that you can work your entire life to pay off. Death is never the end, there is a profession here that everyone can switch careers. Immortal. Prerequisite. Hope. Desire. Attribute. Losing five senses and limbs, completely losing all perception of the outside world, delaying perception of time by a million times, unable to actively commit suicide, unable to leave. Becoming within the five meter range of this profession. Only passive. Eternal life. This profession should have been very niche, but who let the people of giant companies discover it? Mr. L also known as a mechanism master, the cost he pays for his profession should be greatly reflected in the essence. After all, he never appears in the world with the essence. His mechanism is exquisitely crafted. It was not his profession that brought him this, but rather his innate talent. His mechanism skills have made these despicable immortals a tool for endless work. There are many ways for a giant enterprise to actively transition and become an immortal. Which father doesn't want his daughter to live a better life? Which filial daughter doesn't want her father to enjoy her old age? Which husband would watch his wife pass away in pain? The hope for life and the fear of death constitute the employee framework of the company. Mei Jun's company has no good impression at all and she has decided to leave immediately without hesitation. Even aimless is much better than stagnant. Miss, it's best not to leave the royal city, as it was signed in the treaty. Majin once again saw the figure that disgusted her. Majin didn't believe that every inch of his land was guarded. After the second time he arrived at a border, Majin crossed over. Finally escaped. Circled dot operator O oh, circled dot operator. Majin thought joyfully. However, it was still that figure. The pursuit of freedom is a biological instinct. Miss, you are not wrong. However, has Miss heard a famous saying? Or to put it another way, I don't eat beef. Before she could finish speaking, Majin had her legs and hands removed. The pain didn't reach so quickly and this doll's attacking power was really strong. In an instant, it destroyed Mei Jun's limbs. What frightened Mei Jun was that the doll walked towards her step by step, getting closer and closer. She didn't know what he was going to do, and Mei Jun was very scared. Then, 
A strange scene appeared, and the doll lay on Mei Jun's body, starting to dismember. Mei Jun successfully acquired brand new limbs, and the doll's body became armored. The advantage is that, without a doubt, Mei Jun's combat effectiveness has risen sharply, but it can be expected that she will not be able to escape the giant enterprise in the short term. Miss, now you are free because if you do something beyond the boundaries, your body will instinctively resist. Quote. Immediately after, before Mei Jun could react, she suddenly felt that this body was not very honest. Your sister, where are you going to stretch it? No. Hiss. Why do you stretch it into the wound? Mei Jun roast. Based on your behavior evaluation, you are probably not an indigenous person here, right? There is no need to answer. Your bad behavior is destined, and you are not a simple person here. However, this is beneficial as our company lacks talents like you. In fact, Mr. L, the actual person in charge of the company, has long been away for tourism. Most of the puppets here, including me, are controlled by the first puppet he made. To be precise, we are a collective consciousness. The voice of this puppet stopped for a moment, as if transmitting a signal. After a while, he immediately said, Based on our negotiation and consideration, the first puppet is also going on vacation. We believe that a greedy person like you will not cause any losses to the company. Therefore, now you are the actual person in charge of the company. Ah. No. How did your sloppy behavior develop into such a big enterprise? People. Come on. I become in power, at least give back my limbs. However, there was no response. This is a rather sloppy setting, very sloppy, but Majin has been very optimistic since childhood, and soon she accepted this huge change. At this moment, Majin finally stood up and found that her limbs seemed even better than before. It not only looks the same as the real person, but also feels the same. It can also transform and attack. It is not difficult to imagine how powerful the puppet technology of Mr. L is. Launch. Majin shouted as she looked around and saw no one around. Immediately after, a magic circle appeared in her palm, and half of the forest in the distance was destroyed by her one blow. Wow. It's really strong. It's full. It's really full. Delta. Quote. Then she realized something was wrong, and the energy bar on her arm returned to zero. I thought this energy was only used for attacks, but I didn't expect that all functions would consume energy. In fact, with the limbs connected, it is possible to walk normally without energy. However, without energy assistance, this thing is really heavy, coupled with Mei Jun's absurdly weak physique. Once again, I fell asleep with my head down. Is there anyone? Help me. My system. Mei Jun lay on the ground, weakly shouting. At this moment, a group of smugglers arrived here, facing an immovable beauty. They are decisive. Prepare to assassinate him. That, s right, after all. He is the ruler of a giant enterprise. The bounty is very high. Why did you recognize her so quickly? The answer is that although they don, T know what the rulers of the giant enterprise look like, the puppet of the giant enterprise itself is very valuable. And Majin has the trademark of the giant enterprise on all four limbs. Why am I always being slaughtered by others? Majin felt helpless. Chapter 5. Resurrect. My lover. Cross out. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ah, it's like pie falling from the sky. This puppet looks like it's worth a lot of money at first glance. The smugglers were very happy. My mother is human, a living person, just pretending to have puppet limbs. I warn you, 
Be careful not to catch me and get angry. Although there is no reliance, Majin still exudes a strong aura. Wow. She has self-awareness and is even more valuable. Seeing her lying on the ground like this, she shouldn't be able to move anymore. But this puppet's body can't be fake, so the charging should be quite fast. Let S give her some medicine first. This group of smugglers remained unmoved, and in order to prevent the puppet of the giant enterprise from committing murder, they decided to first threaten Majin with medicine. Not my brother, you drugged me. Do you know what kind of group this puppet belongs to? A giant enterprise. What poison can keep their puppet from moving? Majin looked at them sarcastically, although she had been condemning the giant enterprise before. But the group ignored her and bottles of potions were taken out one after another. First bottle of tripe, not salty. The second bottle of lower belly, not light. The third bottle is not very good. The fourth bottle was taken down, and Majin said, isn't that okay with you? I'll taste this poison, and it's called one. Sigh. It's not right. Mei Jun's face turned visibly rosy to the naked eye. What did you order? Quote. The person who directly fed him glanced at the bottle and said, Aphrodisiacs, pure puppets should be fine, but it seems like you're not. Okay. Okay. Really take the medicine, right? Majin choked silently. This giant enterprise has never brought her any benefits. At the moment when Majun's heart was surging, the support of the giant enterprise finally arrived. There was nothing else but an energy block thrown by the giant enterprise, which was also casually thrown by an air passenger plane. This enterprise is purely livestock. The livestock in the livestock, as the actual person in charge, I really have no right at all. Bid has given me a false impression, right? Although she said so, she was still very happy to see this energy block. Soon, her body actively connected to this energy block. Isn't it not good to eat supplies in front of us? The smuggler would look at Majin. Then, the energy block ignored the people from both sides and exploded on the spot, causing a devastating disaster. Ah! What's going on? When Majin opened her eyes again, only the goods of the smuggler in the distance were left, and she lay in a big pit. I'm not dead here. I'm really powerful, and how did my hands become my own? So what about that mechanical one? Majin was surprised to find that her limbs had returned. Did that puppet actually install a famous sword for me? When I was about to crack, the puppet blocked the damage for me and then gave me the same hand as before. Majin chose to brainwave herself. The confused beauty arrived at the distant goods. Don't ask where the previous wave of medicine went. Question. It's just that my mind hasn't fully recovered yet. Majin lifted the curtain on the goods and saw an unconscious vampire girl. Wow. Blood clan. Look at the cargo label next to you. You're still in your teens, with a strength of up to level 30. Blood clan genius. Did you get caught by a smuggler? Why did you fall asleep right now? Majin touched her body with a cold touch. Dead. That's perfect. Come back to life. Mine. Before he could finish speaking, the blood clan opened their eyes and said, I drank fake death medicine. Quote. However, Majin recites the mantra relatively quickly. And according to the job description, feigning death is also considered death, and the vampire girl has completely become a plaything for Majin. Well, this profession is still conceptual. As long as the status is determined to be dead, it can be resurrected. Let me take a look. Quote. Although I don't know why the undead mage needs to be close to his family's panel within 10 centimeters, Majin didn't think too much. It has to be said that this vampire girl is really good looking, 
with a face of abstinence and some pathological white skin. She really has a strong desire to conquer. At this moment, Mei Jun's efficacy suddenly came up. Actually, it was not possible to get up, but Mei Jun's profession has a super double liking for resurrected undead and corpse. I'll go, you're so fragrant and cool. Mei Jun's gaze began to become blurred, and a scorching breath hit the face of the vampire girl. My hands and feet are also starting to be less honest. Panel. Although our major's status is not correct at this time, the panel will still show drops. Name. To be named. Race. Blood clan. Status. Weak. Active skill. Vampire. By sucking on the blood of other creatures, quickly gain experience and fill the stomach. Has high immunity to spell damage. Passive skill. Blood love. When loyalty to the other person exceeds 80, they will lose resistance and attempt to take blood. This is a pure negative buff now. And without any surprises, the loyal vampire girl faced the beautiful king at this moment without any resistance. Even if Majin asks her to do something, he will take the initiative to do it. Why is it so fragrant? Ah. Ah. Why do I have such strange thoughts about you? Forget it. There aren't many people anyway. Come on. Let me see. Blood. The vampire girl's eyes opened slightly, and due to her high loyalty, Majin lay on top of her, unable to resist. She could only express her desire for blood through words. However, at this moment, Majin couldn't listen at all and directly stopped the vampire girl from speaking with her mouth. It has to be said that the touch is very good, cool, and when my tongue sticks in, it feels sticky, giving me a feeling of eating jelly. Don't. Perhaps when she was resurrected, she did not die completely, and the vampire girl still retained a certain level of clarity. Unfortunately, there was not much. Only enough time for her to barely break free. Majin just said two words. These two words actually aroused Majun's desire to conquer, and the attack became more intense. In no time, the vampire girl had completely fallen and could not extricate herself, even though Majin had no useful organs. But unfortunately, Majin is experienced and skillful. After some operation, my description is that my body is all sticky and very uncomfortable. It's already. It's not possible. Ah. It's not possible here. The vampire girl finally tried to stop Majun's hands. The result was that Majun was even more excited and pressed her hands on the floor. So how did Majun operate it? Don't you still have a tongue? Come. Open your own hands, Majin whispered in the demon's ear, pressing her mouth against the vampire girl's ear. Faced with such unreasonable demands, the vampire girl couldn't resist at all. The appearance of being very unwilling on the face, and still being forced to perform the behavior requested by the owner. He he, let me play with you hard. Majin couldn't help but say, he he. Let me play with you hard. For such a thing, Mei Jun's later evaluation was, it's much more interesting than playing male models. Quote. Chapter 6. To be powered by Goblin. Sad. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Playing with the vampire girl until midnight, Mei Jun fell asleep contentedly. Because the weather is extremely hot at this time, it is considered a hot day. So Majin chose not to wear clothes and lay on a very cold pillow, ignoring the slight trembling of the pillow. Majin slept very soundly. The next day when she woke up, Majun's pillow had already shrunk in the corner, covering her exposed skin with tattered clothes as much as possible. Seeing Majin wake up, the vampire girl who was originally just slightly trembling now trembles directly into a human-powered small motor. No. 
Last night I saw you looking even more empty than me. Why did you wake up so early? You're still so energetic. Majin felt puzzled. But looking at the trembling vampire girl over there, May felt like she couldn't get the answer from her. So, Majin chose to open the career panel. Well, refreshing her state every morning. Okay, okay, this state is really refreshing, right? Sigh. Does that mean that no matter what kind of humiliation I do to her, she will return to her original state the next day? Quote dot. I'm already getting excited. Majin looked at the vampire girl and extended his sinful hands again. Let me see if it's really the same as yesterday. Majin reached into the lower body of the vampire girl. Wow. The feel has been refreshed. Hmm. It's really amazing. If these functions were to fall into the hands of Mr. L. I wouldn't be able to give you daily organ picking and daily work. Fortunately, I am kind-hearted. I will only make you my exclusive little toy. He <laughs> he. At this moment, the vampire girl was already lying on the ground, with a mischievous appearance. It's time to leave this place. It's really unlucky. You're pretty good. Majin picked up the vampire girl's chin with her slender fingers. Subsequently, without any attachment, Majin left the capital and began a aimless adventure. Ah, hiking is so tiring. The journey is really far away. Quote, the beauty walking under the scorching sun felt deep malice. At this moment, Majin noticed the goblin tribe in the distance the small green-skinned creatures that were visibly uncomfortable. But Meijun's XP is too extensive, and she even feels a little excited. If I send the vampire girl over and ask her not to resist, will I be able to see her being cruelly insulted and played with? Anyway, her state will also refresh the next day, and the goblin humiliation session in the other world can be quite tempting. I won't go by myself, will I? After all, after going there, my body is probably all sticky, and there is a high probability that there is no river in this broken place while muttering to herself. Majin looked at the vampire girl with a seductive expression. As if noticing something, the vampire girl shook her head as much as she could swing, to explain why she wasn't, t afraid of sunlight because she had already quaked and resurrected. She was considered a undead. Although she really wants to see the appearance of Goblin, s insulting scenes, Majin still has a bit of possessiveness and doesn't. T really want what she has played with to be played with by others again. After observing that the Goblins had a very low level, Majin chose to take the initiative to attack. After all, Goblin has an average level of 10, and there is a level 30 undead next to him. Majin ran towards the goblin tribe and said, It's up to you, go. Vampire girl. Majin shouted very loudly. Then, Majin realized that there was a slight abnormality in the situation. Why didn't these goblins panic and flee? And like a well-trained and fast messenger, forget it. Your strength will crush everything. Then, Majin was crushed by the 50 level goblin leader who appeared inside the goblin. The US military, bound in a strange binding posture, thought to himself, that's it. I used to enjoy reading books when others were insulted, but now it's my turn. Suddenly, I feel a little less satisfied. Quote, Majin was bound by an extremely strong rope, and Goblin carried her and her spirits towards the depths of the nest. Next, it won't be the defeat of CG, will it? It's estimated that they will be heavily infused with power. Sadness. I hope they don't come too many people at once. Majin felt a bit uncertain for the first time. The imagined scene had not yet appeared and Majin was thrown directly into the cold dungeon, where some other people, such as a female knight from a certain kingdom or a male elf, 
were kept hidden from other Majin. Majin stood at the prison entrance, looking outside. Two goblins were serving as prison guards, standing at the door. The first one to be dealt with was the female knight, but what was unusual was that her face was not as panicked as imagined, but rather an abnormal crimson with a hint of anticipation. I won't reveal the secrets of the kingdom. Even if you use candles and whips to turn me into a reproductive machine that only knows mating and imprint slave marks on me, I won't. Although her mouth said so, the female knight's face had turned red to a point where even saliva began to drip out unconsciously, and love began to appear in her eyes. Feed. Bid. Your desire is almost expressed in his words. He would rather die than surrender and blushes at the same time. What kind of ghost is that? Good boy likes to talk ironically, right? I think you can't help it. Majin roast. However, the nearby goblin didn't think so. The level 50 goblin suddenly saluted the female knight with a respectful attitude. What a lady with a noble chivalrous spirit. Although you were defeated by us, we will deal with you in the most respectful way. Majin exclaimed, Goblin is so polite. Quote, then, in fact, Goblin used a very strange technique to set up the female knight and placed her on a wooden bed, perhaps a bed. Although he didn't, T have any characteristics of a bed, he could only think of it as a bed. At this moment, the female knight was even more excited to a higher level. Because Majin noticed that her lower body had started to leak. Then the female knight was fiercely pressed against each guillotine. That's right. It's not a bed at all. It's just a guillotine that hasn't t been erected yet. In order not to disgrace your noble chivalry, we will pay homage to the highest execution of knights in your kingdom, the guillotine, and execute you. Quote. Then. Visible to the naked eye, the female knight's face turned pale. Hey, wait a moment, isn't that right? You shouldn't. Bang! The huge knife fell. Ah, it's really confusing. Majin felt a cool sensation under her neck. She tried to communicate with Goblin outside the door and said, You didn't actually brutally asterisk asterisk the human women you captured infusing asterisk into asterisk asterisk and forcing them to asterisk asterisk become quote then goblin outside the door showed a disdainful expression and said we are all different races you are so perverted how could creatures of different races mate would your man go to asterisk asterisk a fish quote ah uh, why not ah uh, comes from a diligent honest and kind goblin who has lived in the countryside for a lifetime. Chapter 7. Chinese Speech from Goblin's Nest. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Living in the countryside, Goblin was deeply shocked throughout his life. At this moment, Majin began to think about how to seek survival. Looking at the female knight who was transforming from the originally anticipated white blood to blood, Majin deeply realized the terror of this place. In order to get out of trouble, Majin began to make every effort to collect information from around her. After two hours, Majin successfully collected a key piece of information by observing the behavior of Goblin here. She found that the goblins here were well organized, well organized, and very good at being human. Well, that's right. There are two ways to be a person. At this point, the female knight has already been made into a delicious dish. How delicious is it? Even Majin, who doesn't really like to eat the same type of meat, feels a big appetite when she sees it. And out of respect, the goblins here don, t even eat people, s genitals and heads. Wow, it, s really very humanized. Then a physically uncomfortable scene appeared. And another male elf in prison seemed to have seen through his own ending. I made a request to Goblin. 
out of humanization. Before dying, Goblin allows you to make an unreasonable request to strive for your right to survival. After all, the pursuit of freedom and life is a biological instinct. Due to hunger, the male elf chose to take the parts that the goblins didn't. T. Wanton began to feast on them. The U.S. military is concerned about saliva production, not about dry mouth and dry tongue. Ah, not about extreme nausea. At this moment, the vampire girl in the corner looked at Majin with a hint of disdain and something amiss in her expression. At this moment, the delicious meal cooked by Chef Goblin was served, with all the colors, flavors, and flavors, and it was impossible to tell what was being cooked with. Majin, who had not eaten anything for a long time, felt particularly hungry, and her gaze at the vampire girl carried a hint of danger. I can't eat it. I, I, I'm not good at it. Eating it will cause diarrhea, said the vampire girl, trying to awaken Majun's last conscience. Because she was not yet hungry to that extent, Majun temporarily dispelled this idea. Suddenly, Majun noticed a very small detail. She found that although the dishes were full of color, aroma, and flavor, most goblins didn't. T take a few bites, and they didn't. T seemed to like the meat of humanoid creatures very much. At this moment, the level 50 goblin was sitting on a chair, looking at a piece of paper with a worried face. Many goblins seemed to be in a state of hunger, and they looked very resistant to human flesh. After all, they were also humanoid creatures, so the Valley of Terror effect should still exist. Why don't they go hunt and kill other types of creatures? Don't worry. I know it must be related to that note. Because he couldn't understand the language of magic at all, he had previously communicated with the guards because he understood the common language of humans. Majin chose to call in a vampire girl to serve as a top translator. The top of the note reads the Treaty of Versailles. The first item states that Goblin is not allowed to form his own army. Quote, All right, needless to say, I know what I'm going to do now. Majin immediately understood something. The smile at the corner of the mouth gradually became rampant. I don't know why. At this moment, Majin always feels like he has grown a small beard and will be rejected from the art academy. Listen to me for a moment, I'll just say this one. Let the inmate next to me translate it for me. Quote, this is the final request made by Majin. Coincidentally, goblins were in their leisure time after meals, and many goblins would listen to the last words of Majin when they had nothing to do. Hello goblins who are also humanoid creatures. A great era has arrived, and the humanoid alliance has awakened. Perhaps you are unaware of the existence of this alliance, but as long as you are humanoid creatures, you are a member of the alliance. As the actual ruler of a giant enterprise, I use my identity to prove his existence. We have won the political power of the humanoid alliance and now we need to persuade our fellow humans. I know my fellow humans are living in dire straits. I know you yearn for change, but it sinks into the sea. The call sign had to be ignited time and time again, in a struggle of agreement and reluctance. You will be subject to others, you must obey, you must submit. You must willingly endure unstoppable commands that must be obeyed. Our dream that we have been dreaming of day and night has finally been fulfilled today. The signal of the unity of various classes in the human-like alliance has become a symbol of the new alliance. And it has become a measure for the members of the human-like alliance. The most precious wealth in this world is our humanoid members, therefore, for the sake of our race. For the benefit of our race. We need to fight and fight, we will not slack off, we will not be tired, we will not lose courage. We will never abandon our beliefs. 
What stands in front of me is a nation, a nation groaning in humiliation. After that war, the pride of your nation is gone. The victorious ones ride on your necks and trample on your dignity, the dignity of the most noble race on this continent. Tell me, do you choose to be like every brave warrior would be, a free fighter or a slave? Do you know how much food costs now? In your humanoid community, you need 500,000 copper coins, which can't even be easily lifted by the most powerful goblin. It's time to start fighting, join us, I promise, I will make every goblin present here enjoy bread and milk. Quote, Upon hearing Meijun's impassioned speech, even though the U.S. military had already stopped, no one spoke. Suddenly, a burst of applause broke the silence, followed by a flood of applause, causing a wave of turbulence. You have learned your speech skills and your proficiency has reached a perfect level, comparable to that of Xie, Adolf. You have successfully convinced a race through language, although only a part of it. You still have mastered the sophisticated ability to operate illegal organizations. The career panel provides prompts. Now, I will lead you to reclaim everything that belongs to us through armed struggle. This statement aroused the enthusiasm of all goblins, who had been living in the darkness for too long. A ray of light shone in. Even if it was just a reflection of a mirror, it was enough to make people crazy. Leader. Leader. Even the most powerful goblin cannot control its fall. In this beautiful future woven together. But Majin knows that her leadership is still absolutely unstable. And she needs a victory. A great victory. To prove her ability and the right direction for her. Big goblin follows little goblin. And the powerful goblin leads on both sides passing through Little Goblin and supplies in the middle. Our tactics are to fight without declaration, at lightning speed, and to take one shot and switch places. Our first step in victory will be to launch a Blitzkrieg attack on this place. Majin pointed to one wave of blue. Chapter 8. Two weeks. Take the Magic Forest. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The natives and natives of a different world have clearly not experienced the joy of Blitzkrieg. Under the leadership of Majin, the Goblin clan was unstoppable, and because their sphere of influence was not large, they also adopted various tactics such as split operations and guerrilla warfare. Not just talking. In order to consolidate her prestige and maintain her life, Majin almost used all the ways she could remember to enhance her national strength. These goblins are not low in intelligence. In this world, there is a certain flaw, and something will never come out, such as a simple stranger who will never become a capitalist. Mr. L is a bit, not quite like this world. The company he founded has a feeling of being forcibly inserted into the world. A world that can be easily traversed, without a doubt, this world must have been pierced many times, probably ruined by playing. The ingredients are starting to become incomplete. I don't know how long they can last. But this is clearly not within the scope of Meijun's consideration. He only wants to consolidate her prestige in the Goblin tribe through war as soon as possible. Various policies have been adopted including recruiting talents, not killing those who surrender, and significant military spending. After a week of war, Majin deeply felt the cruelty of the war. Grandma really didn't have enough food to eat at all. However, this week's war has not been without gains, and most tribes have been dragged into the ocean of war. Because when attacking others, Majin often used the flags of other tribes and even changed the faces of all members, focusing on framing and framing. Majin also received a dog-headed military strategist, and his strategies always made Majin feel a deep reference value. Although he is a dog-headed person, his strategies are completely incompatible with his race. 
The two tribes here are fighting. We can't just sell weapons to both sides. We can use some means to bring their battlefield closer to the third tribe. And then use reasonable means such as coercion and inducement to get the third tribe involved. Even if it doesn't work, we need to make them more vigilant and force them to strengthen their weapons and exchange food for our supplies. Quote, Majin did not fully adopt this method because she came up with a better one. A large amount of plunder has enabled us to obtain a huge amount of military supplies, but our manpower is obviously not enough. However, these of us are far from enough. Taking advantage of the close proximity of these people, we need to go as far as possible to purchase these military supplies at high prices with food. Then, when there was a shortage of military equipment in the hands of all parties, the war here intensified. War burns money. In order to achieve victory in the war, these tribes will spare no effort in obtaining military supplies. We will be their best choice, and they can exchange food for our exclusive currency. Only this currency can buy supplies from us, and then push this currency to various tribes, gradually intensifying the war and building the market of this forest through war. This will be the first step for us to achieve hegemony. This dog-headed person heard Meijun's plan and suddenly felt that he was still too shallow. He could only think of a few steps. His admiration for Meijun has taken it to the next level. Young man, work hard. You'll have to take over most of the things from now on. I can't handle it alone, so don't treat these things as a burden. This is an opportunity for you to practice. Cherish it well and believe in you. As long as you work hard, one day I will be one third smarter than you. Majin showed a capitalist smile. I don't know why. There's always an impulse to hang her from a streetlight. Congratulations on obtaining the pancake painting skill. Your pancake painting skills are excellent, and your pancake painting skills are at their peak. Your moral deduction is 20, deduction failed, balance is insufficient. As Majin's career template goes, I am giving them hope. How can this be called pancakes? How can the affairs of scholars be called pancakes? I am calling encouragement. Majin felt dissatisfied. The speed of war is quite fast, and the conflicts between generations of simple tribes here have accumulated for a long time. Every assault on human towns, discriminatory targeting of humanoid creatures, transforms contradictions into external ones. But this does not mean that internal conflicts will disappear. Under the manipulation of various series of tactics by the U.S. military to sow discord and sow discord. Even participating in the internal affairs of other tribes on the grounds that organisms should help each other greatly expanded the power of Majin. It is also a close and distant confrontation, easing conflicts with distant races, and even actively making friends to cover up the fact of invading nearby races. Two weeks later, the entire forest of monsters was basically under Meijun's control, and her monsters had reached the peak of their personal worship of him. We have achieved a great victory at a certain stage, but this will not be the end. You have witnessed our victory and I believe you have also recognized my plan. I have successfully given each of you a chance to eat bread and milk. But what needs me is not just here. The human part of the humanoid alliance is facing the manipulation of that king. Even you cannot find this alliance in the town, because under the malicious harm of the king, they can only engage in underground work. For the benefit of the entire alliance, I will assist them. You, my loyal subordinates, Allow me to give you the last command. Build high walls, accumulate abundant grain, slowly proclaim oneself king, clear the emperor's side. Quote, in order to escape as soon as possible, 
Majin delivered her final victory speech and prepared a grand gift for the king whom she had never met before. Although there is no humanoid biological alliance at all, this vivid description did not arouse anyone's suspicion. We will never forget you. We will always be your loyal subordinates. The fanatical subordinates bid farewell to Majin. Oh. It. S better for me to go back and actually create a humanoid biological alliance, so as not to be blamed by them later. After all, these forces are not weak either. Creating an alliance and taking them into your pocket would be a beautiful thing. There is a large amount of precious metal in Majin's pocket, which was given to him by those subordinates. And because Majin cannot hold it, it is actually on the vampire girl now. You command a tribe to carry out a massacre, and 1% of the experience of killing enemies in all wars has been applied to you. Congratulations. You have reached level 30 and have opened a career template. Congratulations to your loved ones. You have reached level 50 and your combat power has greatly increased. You can learn exclusive skills. Ah, this is such a beautiful thing. I finally have some combat power. By the way, where do we need to learn this exclusive skill? Majin looked at the vampire girl. The other party didn't say anything, but their clear and foolish eyes told her the answer. Chapter 9. Let's play a game. You are listening at novelfull.audio. On this journey, Majin never encountered any danger again. After all, level 30 can basically walk horizontally in this kind of magical jungle. Because high-level monsters already possess spiritual intelligence, most of them gather together to form tribes or other societies. Although they will never be able to form a civilization like humans, which is somewhat puzzling, Majin clearly does not care about it. After a long journey, Majin felt both thirsty and tired. Finally, she saw a small city. No, to be precise, not too small. Finally, there's a place to consume. With so many things on her body, I'm determined to relax a bit. Majin felt as if she was walking with energy. Stop. What are you eating for? The guard at the city gate stopped Majin. After all, one is falsely draped over another person, and the other is even more so on such a hot day, with skin as white as anything, and even emitting a hint of coldness. This combination is very illogical at first glance. Faced with this unexpected situation, Majin chose to use the simplest and most brutal method. She smashed a gold coin fiercely onto the guard, and then, because her strength was too weak, she didn't. T hit it and fell to the ground. Sir, please come in, please come in. The guard immediately changed his face and didn't care about the awkward situation. He bent down to pick up the gold coin. There's no time to speak harshly anymore. Majin just wants to go to the city and enjoy it as soon as possible. As soon as I entered the city, I saw a famous chain store in the other world. French Fries Tavern. This chain store is very numerous throughout the world, and can be said to be at the level of a phenomenon. Majin, who has been eating dry food for a long time, cannot resist this temptation at all. Boss, have some French fries and some special dishes. By the way, add more drinks. I'm almost thirsty. Sister, there's plenty of money. Quote, okay, this guest, the dishes you want will be ready soon. You just need to sit in your seat and wait. Quote, a very pleasant sound with some ethereal elements. In the stereotype, the voice of the tavern owner is different. Majin looked up and found that she was a very experienced older sister. She didn't know her age, but she could tell that she was the older sister. And her gaze is very, how can I say it? Glamorous eyes like silk. Sister, I don't want to work hard anymore. Can you take care of me? 
Majin blurted out a sentence as soon as she saw it. Ha ha. Little sister, don't joke. It's really not possible. I can also take care of you. Majin argued logically. But the other party didn't pay attention to her, just smiled. She's really good looking. He he. Quote. Don't laugh. Your saliva is about to drip into the bowl. And all the dishes have been served. Can you start eating now? The vampire girl next to her couldn't bear to watch any more. Majin, who was interrupted, seemed somewhat dissatisfied. Suddenly, Majin gave a sinister smile and said, You don't have a name right now. I think these fries are very delicious. You'll call them French fries in the future. Okay, okay, right, right, right. The French fries are flaunting their own kind. What are you doing? Leave some for me. Jiang Meijin also began to show off, and a big battle on the table was about to erupt. Soon, Meijin successfully filled her stomach and left gracefully after throwing down a gold ingot, because she couldn't, tea hold it. She was still helped by French fries. The tavern owner held his chin in one hand and looked at Majin, S. back, saying, Interesting little girl. Unfortunately, Majin did not hear. Having enough to drink and eat, it's natural to wander around the city, because neither of them has much knowledge about the city, so they are like headless flies, looking for fun everywhere. I'll go to the men's model club. I can see this kind of thing even when I'm strolling around. It must be fate. I can't go without it. Quote. Before entering the clubhouse, Majin saw a long and delicate man from afar, but he didn't appear very feminine. Instead he had a slightly charming feeling. Majin immediately focused his attention on the man, but it was a bit strange. Majin had good eyesight. And although he could see his face from a little distance, his eyes could never see clearly. As she approached, Majin realized that his pupils were actually a plum blossom, adding a touch of elegance. A pretentious handsome approach. Have a drink, handsome guy. Majin sat in the seat opposite him. I don't know why. The other party hasn't spoken yet. And then it's about. You smell so good on you. Your hands are so small. Why are you so much whiter than me? Quote. I heard that men and women have soft hands. Your hands are so ice. You're so cute. Comparing palm sizes. Let me treat you to dinner. I drank too much. Can you take me to the hotel? Quote. Your hair smells so good. Your eyes are so beautiful. Can we not go back tonight? Are you a woman? Get out of me. It's really heartless. If you put on pants, you won't recognize anyone, said the man. No, more precisely, the little girl. Forget it. Why do I have to argue so much with the person in my dream? Thank you, miss. My kindness. I repay you with good deeds and give you a chance. Speaking. Disregarding Meijun's resistance. He forcefully pressed her onto the bed and blocked her with his mouth before Majin spoke. Those beautiful eyes were staring at her. Then, Majin fell asleep. Actually, I didn't need to kiss you. But who made you kick me out? HMPH, little miscellaneous fish, have you seen my prowess? Let's play a game. I have an ideal country, and if you can destroy it, I'll give you a chance. That little girl has become smaller and has a pair of wings, spinning around Majin. Who am I? Where am I? What am I doing? Majin still looked confused, not knowing what had happened. You are now a useless person in society, yes, in my ideal country, well, in your words, it should be in a dream. By the way, you still don't know my name, do you? You can call me one jealousy. This name doesn't sound very nice. I didn't call it before, but unfortunately, some unpleasant things happened in the past. Anyway, 
Young man, start your adventure. Disrupting order. This is not a simple batch. I will go directly to rob the bank. Oh my, little miscellaneous fish. I have detected that your IQ is too low. Let me give you some tips. Here, it was cleared by two people before. All people here have an absolute sense of order. And they will never take the initiative to do things outside of order. You are also bound by order, but it, s not that serious. But you can, t do anything that goes too far against your identity. How did the first two people clear the level? It, s okay to tell you. The first person, um, is just a pervert. And I still can, t understand why he can spread lust all over the city. So much so that the last descendants of the entire city are all his. And these people must obey their elders because of order. So he controls the entire city, and then there is no order. The second player needs to be a bit more advanced. His initial identity was a bank employee. And by borrowing this, he obtained a large amount of funds through rebates, which led to a monopoly on the economic lifeline of the entire city. In the end, he angered everyone. Just as he was about to be burned to death, he used his top-level logic to compensate everyone by issuing currency. After all, getting some compensation was still better than not getting a penny. In order, everyone is seeking benefits and avoiding harm, so he succeeded. He completely took control of this city and has gained currency hegemony. So this city has also lost order. However, HMPH, these two methods. The first one is not suitable for your gender. And the second one is that if you do this now, you will be hanged from a street lamp. Little miscellaneous fish. It's really not good. You can still beg me. Chapter 10. Training a city. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Jealousy. Why would you agree to a name you don't like? Asked Majin, who had no idea for the time being. I don't know. I've forgotten a lot of things. Um, so much that I don't even remember which friends I used to have now. But none of these are important. The only regret I have is that I may not be able to tell my new friends my name anymore. Jealousy is good. At least I don. T need to think of a new one myself. Jealousy flies in the air, circling in circles with a hint of humor in its tone. Since I lost my memory, no one has passed through my ideal country, and it, s not really amnesia. I still have some fragments of my previous memories. I just don't remember the people who cleared the level before. What reward did I give them? I don't have any memories of them after completing the level, it's a bit regrettable. The ideal here belongs to all my memories. After all, it can also be considered a spiritual embodiment. Perhaps you can retrieve some of my past memories. Well, if it's possible, I'll give you a big reward. Well, what does if, mean? With my abilities, not to mention anything. It's just a piece of cake to find everything for you. Majin replied confidently. The conversation between the two had just ended when the doorbell outside the door rang. It, s time to pay the rent, you, v been in debt for several months now, you can, t procrastinate anymore. The voice of the landlady outside the door was. The landlord is also very wealthy, but unfortunately, he is slightly inferior to the tavern owner. However, when Majin heard the landlord's voice, a bold plan emerged in her heart. Oh, beautiful landlady, I am deeply sorry for the delay in rent payment. As a gesture of apology, I am willing to pay an additional month's rent as compensation. Would you like to go to the basement with me to withdraw money? Bastard fish, your abacus is almost on my face. What are you doing? How could you be so? So bad. Jealousy shouted in Meijun's ear. Ignoring the voice of jealousy, Meijun made an elegant invitation gesture. 
The rules here are a bit strange to say. The success rate of this action is very high. The landlord did not hesitate and followed Majin into the basement. The lights in the basement are very dim. Every day, I search everywhere for things in a pile of broken boxes. The landlord felt something was wrong. But in this overly safe city, everyone's vigilance decreased, and the landlord did not leave. Oh, dear landlord, could you come a little closer? I will hand over the money to you myself, Majin said to the landlord with a smile, holding her hand behind her back. Still not. Can you turn your hand around? I'm a little flustered. Even though I was still dull, the landlord realized that something was wrong. Majin pulled the mechanism behind her, the basement door slammed shut, and the lights disappeared. Majin had already brought the night vision device she found in the basement, um, a special version from another world. What are you doing? Don't come over. I won't charge you rent anymore. Okay. I won't report it to the police. Don't come over. D backquote, ideographic period. The landlord pleaded. This can't be done by you. Come on, let me see. Jun knocked down the landlord with a stick. Actually, she didn't. T exert too much force. After all, she didn't. T exert too much force. Mainly because the landlord was too scared and had psychological effects. After much effort, Majin tied the landlord to a chair. And they also conducted a body search for the landlord, but unfortunately did not find anything useful, except for a communication device. In terms of functionality, it can be considered a different world phone, but different world phones cannot play games. Successfully helped children from other worlds avoid internet addiction. Do all of this well. Majin is ready to wait for the landlord's husband to finish work before proceeding with the next plan. But she wasn't idle either. She searched around the basement to see if there was anything useful. Wow. Anesthetic. Wow. Aphrodisiac. It's not in your memory. How could there be such a thing? I'll go. This is Dowla. Majin found a knife with the words, la, written on it. It must be because of you. These things have never been in my memory. Definitely not. Jealousy defended weakly. Majin did not refute. Just a wicked smile. Ah, really not at all. Don't look at me like that. I'm not that kind of person. Quote. Without further teasing and jealousy, Majin prepared a plate to hold her props. As time approached, Jiang Majin woke up the landlord. The landlord struggled desperately as soon as he woke up, his eyes very frightened. Miss, if you don't want yourself to be hurt, please don't move around. Quote, the landlord's expression changed very sadly. Majin made a video call to her husband using the landlord's communication device. Wife, what's up? I'm on my way back from work. Wait, who are you? Quote, sir, it doesn't matter who I am. What's important is that your wife is in my hands. At this moment, Majin wore a mask and turned the camera to the landlord next to her. In order to make the other party more aware of the crisis, Majin wore a pair of male gloves and unbuttoned the landlord's clothes one by one. Bastard. What are you doing? Stop it. Don't touch my wife. Ignoring the bitter master, Majin completely unbuttoned the landlord's clothes and used a knife to cut open the clothes inside. With each slide, she could hear the angry roar inside her phone. Finally, the landlord's skin was completely exposed, and Majin pretended to be abnormal by touching it with her hands. Then, a knife sliced open the landlord's skin. No. Don't hurt my wife. What do you want to do? You want money, right? I'll give you as much money as I want. I will immediately make my own demands. Before I finish my performance, every word you say, I will cut your wife, ggg.
hiding her voice, Majin said in a hoarse tone. The other end of the video suddenly stopped talking. Without too much pause, the U.S. military poured a bottle of water-soaked aphrodisiac into the landlord's throat, and by the way, injected a tube of anesthesia with a needle and mixed it with water. Because the anesthetic is used in animals, even though it is mixed with water, its strength is still very strong. Visible to the naked eye, the landlord's face turned red and her breathing began to be rapid. However, after a while, her eyes slowly closed and her breathing gradually disappeared, becoming slightly imperceptible. Bastard, what have you done? Don't worry, your wife hasn't died yet. By the way, I didn't allow you to speak. Majin scratched the landlord's skin again. Now I'm going to start making demands. If you do well, I'll let your wife go. Don't think about calling the police or anything. I am already suspected of illegal detention, intentional injury, and maybe there is also an illegal practice of medicine. My crime is unforgivable. I am a fugitive who dares to kill. If you report to the police, your beautiful wife will say goodbye to you. By the way, don't try to get rid of me. I just injected your wife. Did you see it too? I cannot guarantee that she will always be alive. I only have one simple request. I will put a box of drinks in a designated location. You can take this box of drinks and pour them into the water source of this city. It's not that difficult to complete. After all, I believe that in your heart. Your wife will be more important than someone who has nothing to do with you in order to make the other party make a decision as soon as possible. Majin lifted the landlord's chin with a knife. Don. T. Touch her. I promise you. But you must keep your promise. Otherwise even if my wife and I can't live, I won't let you live. Quote. When the other party said these words, Majin knew that the first step of the plan had been completed.